Tasmanians have voted for a hung parliament, but it's unclear which party will be taking the reins. The final result won't be known for weeks now, and independents and minor parties are set to decide the fate of the next Tasmanian government. Well, Jano Gibson joins us now live from Hobart. Jano, what have the leaders of the two major parties have had to say about last night's result? Yeah, good morning. Well, the two leaders of the Liberal Party and the Labor Party had very different perspectives on the outcome of this election and also on what the future holds for their parties. The Liberal leader Jeremy Rockliffe was the leader Jeremy Rockliffe was the first to take the stage at the tally room in Hobart last night and he took the opportunity to claim victory. Uh, he acknowledged that the Liberal vote was down. It fell around 12%, but he said Tasmanians didn't want a change in government uh, and he said he would be seeking a minority government and he urged members of the future crossbench to uh, work together in the best interests of Tasmania to put aside their differences with the Liberal Party uh, and to form a minority government with his party. Now for her part, the Labor leader Rebecca White, she refused to concede defeat she said that uh, there had been a rejection of the Liberal Party at this election. She noted that the Liberal Party still needs potentially three or four members of that future crossbench to uh, provide uh, confidence and supply to indicate their support for that. So she says there's still a long way to go. Uh, here's a little of what both leaders had to say last night. Tasmanians have delivered a very clear message and I want to assure each and every Tasmanian that we've heard it and I thank you for it. But Tasmanians have not voted for a change of government. Make no mistake, this has been a very poor result for the Labor Party of Tasmania. It is very likely that Tasmania will continue to elect minority governments, particularly with a 35 seat parliament. It is, also clear, it is also clear that people voted for change this election. We'll wait to see how the dust settles and for the final results to be determined. And Labor will be ready to work with the Parliament to implement our agenda and our plan for a better future for Tasmania if that is the will of the people. Okay, Jano, so counting is still ongoing, but what, what are the projected numbers for the parties and the independents? Yeah, Falzia, uh, in this new expanded parliament there are 35 seats and at this stage the Liberals definitely have 12. ABC election analyst Anthony Green is uh, projecting that they'll end up with 14, potentially 15 seats in the new parliament. The Labor Party hasn't done very well. It's only got 10 seats in the new parliament at this stage. There's a small chance they might uh, increase to 11. The Greens uh, look like the big winners of the night. They only had two seats in the previous smaller parliament, uh, but it looks like they've definitely got three, <clears throat> excuse me, and they could end up with four, maybe five, even six seats on the crossbench. The Jackie Lambie network, uh, it is looking to try and uh, score two seats in the new parliament. And then there are two independents who are likely to be on the crossbench and they are Christy Johnson here in the uh, electorate of Clark and David O'Byrne in the electorate of Franklin. Now they're both progressive independents. David Clark, is, David O'Byrne, sorry, is a former Labor leader uh, and he ran at this election as an independent. So it's really difficult to see the path forward for the Liberal Party in order for it to form minority government. Um, also, it's difficult to see how Labor would be able to do the same. Yeah, but OK, so the official results won't be expected for a few weeks. Well, what happens now? Well, it's a bit of a wait and see. Uh, there are more than 400,000 votes that need to be counted. Uh, all those preferences need to be distributed. The hair clerk system here in Tasmania is quite complex, uh, quite confusing as well. So it will take a number of weeks before we get that really clear picture of what the final makeup of Parliament 
will be. And certainly having an Easter long weekend in the middle of that will slow things down. There will be some counting today, I understand, of pre-poll and postal votes. It probably won't make much of a difference to what we know already at this stage. But you have to remember that it was five and a half weeks ago that Jeremy Rockliffe uh, rolled the dice and called this early election, hoping that um, he wouldn't have to deal with a minority government anymore and all of the instability that comes with. But all we know at this stage is that there will be another minority government mm. and it looks uh, potentially even more tricky to navigate. All right, Jeanne Gibson there reporting for us from Hobart. Thank you.